Hey traders, this is Forex Nelson and I'm back again today with another seven trades. Today's date is March the 15th and I'm using my new Pipsnagger trading system. It is the one that uses Heikinashi candles on the top. It's a little bit smoother than Japanese candlesticks. When you see red, everything lining up at the bottom, we're selling. When we see blue, everything lining up at the bottom, we're buying. Um, the biggest help that I have using this system is this TZ indicator. I call it the magic indicator. This gold line right here. It helps to find the beginning of the up and down cycles within the market. It's great for traders who love to scalp the markets on a five minute time frame. You can easily trade all three trading sessions 24 hours a day. I call this the flow of the market. Basically selling when it's at the top and buying at the bottom and catching these cycles. Now every morning at six o'clock I'm in front of the computer and for the first hour I'm putting together my daily trade plan. Let's take a look at that. Here it is here. Daily trade plan for March the 15th. And I took all of these trades directly from the daily trade plan. This is something that you must be doing day in and day out before you start trading. It doesn't have to be as elaborate as this. If you're only trading two or three pairs, you have to be drilling down the lights and knowing each time frame, is it up or is it down? Having a trade plan will make your trading much easier and a lot more successful. If you want to get some more information on this, all you got to do is get in contact with me. Keep in mind I do charge $100 a month for it. So now we can take a look at these trades. Now, I can't remember all 21 instruments, so that is why I put an arrow in. And once I see the cycle, things are getting ready to do another up cycle, then I just take the trade. So on this pound yen first trade. Now, what I ended up doing was I was just keeping an eye on the bottom. And it, these futures, you know, when they take off, especially uh, Dax and Russell, well, all, most of them. When they go, they go. And you're going to get paid a lot of pips and depending on your lot size, a lot of money. So what I did was, when I was happy, I, I do not have any targets in mind. When I'm happy, I close out all the trades right to the minute, 9, 12. I got in around 8 and about an hour, 15 minutes trading. I'm in, I'm out, and I'm done for the day. Now I use my close all script to, to close everything out immediately. We can take a look at that. It's this close all script right here. Make sure you have the auto trading on. All you got to do is press OK. And once you do that, every all your positions, pending orders, market orders, will close down immediately. And if you do not have this, and if you want to get it for free, all you got to do is send me an email, your name, email address. I'll put you on my email list for free weekly trading tips. And um, just ask that you want to receive the close all script and I will send it to you for free. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's take a look at this uh, pound yen trade. Now I should have got in at the gold line here, but I thought it was going to go up. It decided to do like up to this area, where it is right now actually. And if I would have just exercised a little bit more patience, it decided to do one more cycle. And you know, when you hit that close all script, everything shuts down. And I wasn't too worried but if I would have waited I would have made about 15 pips as opposed to losing 15 pips 
and so this is a negative 15 pips which produce a minus $1,271. But as you can see, um, my trading plan did say to buy and um, it had good chance of making it up to the top, which it did. Anyhow, that's the way life goes. You can't win them all unless you exercise just a little bit more patience. Here we go. This one here I wanted to be buying. Let's see where I did get in. Now, that was a signal to buy, got in, decided to do a little bit of a cycle, and if I stayed in longer, guess what? I'd be making more. But I closed it out, remember, just being happy. And it looks like um, it's around one pip, so one pip ended up paying $169. Okay, let's run a check on... Um, all the rest of these, as you can clearly see, they pay a lot more than Forex. But anyhow, S&P 500, let's see where I got in at. I went down to the five minutes so you can see the cycles a little bit clearer. S&P 500. Now the, the higher time frames was saying to sell, but you know the way it is. If it hits strong enough support, it's going to go the other way. But I was just trying to catch a few pips wasn't looking for a lot that's exactly what I got few pips Let's see what I did get looks like uh, 40 something 46 it looks like remember it's five dollars on each one so four times five that would be about right 46 times five dollars times ten lots paid out two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars and this is could have been easily the point where it would have just started to go down in the direction of the higher time frames. But it's still doing another cycle. Not a big deal. Still a winner. Here's another one. Decided to go up until it hit strong enough resistance and then eventually it should drop according to the higher time frames. And I thought it was going to be at this point but I knew I was just going to get in and get out. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, I'll close the trade with a winner. Should be 36. There it is. Because it does pay $10 a pip. So 36 times 10, times 10 lots, paid out $3,600. Let's check out this gold. Now we're starting to get in trades that actually uh, pay even more so let's see gold this is much smoother and a much better looking trade and going in the proper direction I was trying to catch the trade going with the higher time frames on the other ones but still not set up properly anyhow it has to be well that's exactly right 71.4 and down at the bottom is 714 times ten dollars so 71 ended up paying out seven thousand one hundred and forty dollars moving on to crude oil another one that pays ten dollars a pip another one looks much better by the way I teach within the training videos things like how the charts look better and charts that don't look so good anyhow this is a better looking chart Qualified for a great way to trade. Everything is great. First red candle. Next candle. Everything cooperating. I pulled the trigger. Here. Getting approximately. Well this is another one of those. 15.4. Uh, so that should be. 154. That's right. That's 150 says eight but it truly is by the total down at the bottom it has to be 154 paid out 15,400 and now we can move on to the DAX 30 this one pays three dollars and 75 cents for each pip DAX 30 had to go down to the five minutes to uh, a small move pays a lot so I jumped in these were all sell signals. I waited for a bit of a pullback up, which is 
what you're supposed to do, wait for the pullback, took the trade, and I'm going to use a calculator because uh, I like to get that number correct, but it looks like around 600. So now I'm going to get a calculator, take the money, and divide it by 3.75. So I used a calculator and it turned out to be exactly 610 pips and all those pips paid out 22,875. Look at a very small move. Paid out a lot so be careful with the DAX 30. And in theory if the number gets to 1,334 and in this box alone 1,945 let's say you were going to trade as soon as it turned blue in here that's not quite enough. That's 1046. That's not quite enough. But if you hit that number, 1334, and if you say you have a $5,000 account, and you, which will enable you to do one standard lot, you will be able to double your account in one trade. Um, I've been talking a lot more about that in my latest... Uh, system I'm building and working on. I go into more detail on how you can double your account in one trade. If you want to know more about that and how you can double your account in one trade, uh, certainly you cannot do it with Forex, but you can do it with the DAX 30, you can do it um, NASDAQ and Russell and sometimes the S&P 500. But anyhow, if you want to get more information on that, um, on how you can double your account in one trade, uh, just get in contact with me and I'll explain it to you. So another great day of trading using my Pip Snagger system. I just added everything up and I minused, of course, the negative trade here. And um, the grand total worked out to be 903 pips and ticks. And those 903 pips to the good paid out $50,162. So if your system is not producing, like my Pip Snagger, well, I suggest you get your hands on it. All you got to do is look right below this video. And you'll see this uh, Word document. Pip Snagger system, I do charge $250 for it. I teach how to trade the flow of the market. My system has five gigabytes of training and you'll get an exact copy of my system on your MT4 platform. Now included are five MT4 templates, 10 custom indicators, and of course my favorite meter. Included are a lot of PDF books, a lot of Word documents, and nine bonus videos. This is all just bonus stuff um, with lots of good educational material that should help you to succeed at trading. Now there's a lot of ways to trade. I do teach a lot of ways to trade. That's why there's 50 training videos. Now you can put the video on pause, read all the different ways here. Any questions, simple, just pick up the phone and call me. Here's my number. If you live too far, again, simple, just send me an email. Remember there's an underscore right here. Now I really do prefer Skype. All you gotta do is click on this link and through Skype screen sharing, I'll give you a free session, answer your questions, and give you some tips and tricks. And of course, if you click on this link here, you'll see 35 screenshots of all the systems I've been building over the years. So it's time to wrap up this video. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So until the next trading day and video, hopefully tomorrow, want to wish you good luck with your trading and remember to keep yourself and your family safe. Okay, bye for now.